Hey guys, this is Povet, and today I'm going to be showing you a basic batch file I created to sideload apps to your Android Wear device. So, go ahead and open it up. As you can see, there, it's pretty simple. There's not a whole lot of code to it. Um, there are two ways to install apps to your uh, watch. One is through Bluetooth on your phone. So, I'm going to go over that method first. So on your phone, you're going to go ahead and go into the Android Wear app, click Settings, and enable debugging over Bluetooth. The next thing you need to do is enable developer options on your watch. So what you're going to do is just tap the build number about five times, and it should say that you are not a developer. Then go ahead and go into uh, developer options, and enable uh, ADB debugging if you're going to be doing it over USB through your watch or debug over your Bluetooth if you're going to be using Bluetooth through your phone. So my phone is currently connected to my computer and as you can see the watch is not connected to the computer so this is going to be going over Bluetooth and if you go into your watch you'll also see that it says debugging over Bluetooth is enabled. So go ahead and open up my batch file and hit no if you're going to be doing this through Bluetooth. And hit Y. And then we're going to go ahead and attempt. So we're going to say yes. And now we're going to go ahead and install our application. So debugging over Bluetooth is really slow. I average about 50 kilobytes a second. So what we're going to go ahead and do is just install um, the small application. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut the video because it will take a little while. Alright, as you can see, it is installed. Um, this actually was a whole lot slower than it normally was, or is. And if we go to the watch, it should be installed. So, yeah, it should be here. There it is. And we're just going to go ahead and open that. And there you go. Uh, so next, we're going to go ahead and go through ADB through. Alright, so if anyone's having trouble getting ADB drivers for their watch, um, I went to this website and they had it. Basically, just go ahead and install it and it'll detect it. Alright, so once you have your uh, drivers installed and everything's good, go ahead and open up my uh, batch file and hit Y for yes. And it's going to tell you that this only works with the watch, it's just the only device plugged in. That's because um, ADB gives you like an error saying there's more than one emulator. Um, there's a way around it, but I didn't feel like implementing it, so, uh, just work with it. So, if you want to install an application, type install, and we're just, we're just going to be doing square, which is square it. Alright, so just send it, as you can see, it's a whole lot faster. We're getting, like, 2 megabytes a second versus only 25 kilobytes a second. So, uh, if your watch supports, um, ADB debugging uh, through USB, I would recommend doing that instead. It's a whole lot faster. I also included a couple of other features in here. Um, if you would like to uninstall an application, it'll go ahead and list all the package names, and you can just type in the package name. Um, if you're having trouble finding your package name, you can go on Google Play and just uh, find it there. So let's say square it, and it'll be right here. And in the URL, here it is. So then you just copy and paste it. I also included a keyboard option, however, I later figured out that that was kind of useless because you can just install a keyboard app. And I also included shell, which um, can usually just be done by doing a shell, but you know, there you go. Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, hopefully this helps somebody out, and I'll see you next weekend.